then going to talk about the Yamaha range of alto saxophones. So here on my lap I have the Yamaha YAS280, uh, the YAS480 and the Yamaha YAS62. So the Yamaha 280 took over from the Yamaha YS275 and has a couple of improvements. So it's got a reinforced neck, so it's much more strong and stable, less screw breakages, and improved B to C sharp connection on the low end, just to make sure those notes seal really well and are really responsive. This is one of the lighter saxes I've come across on the market, which makes it ideal for students of any age, and it's one of the few saxes that can go all the way to grade eight level. Also has the bonus of coming with a Yamaha 4C mouthpiece as well, which is also one of the best mouthpieces you can get on your student sax, which is responsive and free blowing. So now I have the Yamaha YAS 480. So this is a step up from the YAS 280 and it's instantly a little bit heavier, but still manageable. And this gives more weight and a more sophisticated sound, which you need to go beyond the grades. So definitely a good, um, advancing saxophone. Um, also the neck has got a bit of a wider taper inside which gives you again that warmer, richer, bigger sound. The neck also has the bonus of being exchangeable with the Yamaha custom necks and the 62 neck which is a way of upgrading the saxophone without buying a whole new saxophone. This sax has a couple of other benefits as well which was what you're spending your bit of extra money on. It's got some lovely hand engraving which compares to the 280, which doesn't have any, which just makes the sax look more professional and really stylish. Also, mechanically, it has a seesaw mechanism here on the cluster key for your left hand, which just makes everything a little bit quicker around that area. So if you're playing more advanced pieces, more advanced repertoire, you can then access it a lot more quicker. On the 280, it's just a basic cluster, so you can still get the notes, it's just not as ergonomic. Mm. Lastly, I have the Yamaha YAS62 alto saxophone. So this is class as an advanced saxophone, which could see the player through the rest of their career if they wanted it to. It's made in Japan with the other pro custom saxes, and it features more hand engraving, which just looks beautiful than the 480. And it has a different construction methods to the other two, which adds weight to the body. Um, it has integrated posts, so each post is mounted onto a brass plate with the brass body in between. So if it does take a knock, it is very sturdy. Um, also, it has better quality materials as well. So um, hard steel needle springs, for example, so all the notes respond a lot faster and quicker. Um, and in the whole, this has got a very sophisticated sound. Even though it's got a narrower neck than the 480, all the added weight of the sax itself from the construction and everything give it a very compact, rich, warmth, depth of sound. Um, and again, if you wanted to change it to a custom neck in the future, you can do that to upgrade it even further. I definitely recommend having a go on for these saxes, whatever level you are. If you're starting out the lightness of the 280, the one-piece key guard, so if you do take a knock as well, that's very sturdy and less likely to damage your saxophone. 480, if you look at something a bit more sophisticated bit of a thicker warmer sound to do diplomas um, academic music degrees and finally the 62 one of those saxes that's just iconic and can last you a lifetime if you want it to